Ahlan wa sahlan ya shabab. Hello and welcome to part 15. So now, 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 in the last uh, video, we just started to implement uh, child fragments here, but we said we cannot fully implement them because we need the, the navigation first set up. So in order to do that, let's continue with it. We are now doing the bottom navigation view. So go into the rest folder and the resource folder and say directory. Uh, let, us, let us call this menu. Here we create a new um, resource file. Let's call it bottom nav. Let's just call it bottom navigation, yeah, bottom underscore nav. Okay, this looks good. Here we have, uh, yeah, here we can set everything. That's good, 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 good. Okay, now we just have to um, add some items. So, Android ID, we give it here an ID, just uh, uh, close tasks. Then we have an Android icon. Yes. We have to go to drawable, but we have to say, see close tasks. As you can see, we have now the lock in here. And we need a um, title. And we say string, but close tasks. And slash and bigger sign greater sign and that's it okay what you can do now is just to duplicate this duplicate this and here we will have we'll call this open tasks this will be of course the open underscore tasks and this will be also open tasks and this will be of course the all tasks here as well and now everything should properly set up let's uh, just split it as you can see I mean, this will not look like this. It will be a bottom navigation, but you will see it sh shortly, hopefully. And now we can continue to set up the navigation graph. So we go again on the resource folder. We say new directory. We say navigation. Nice. And um, we should call this file, I would call it just app navigation. Okay. As you can see, how you name your directories is very important in Android because now it gave us uh, um, the navigation tags out of the box. And yeah, but for now we have to just, um, now I see we need to also do some things here in the main activity first before we can, can continue with that. So go to main activity, go to the layout. Here we have to adjust some things. We can get rid of all of this. I will just copy the code from my Medium article. So, okay. Okay, navigation graph. And this should be a bit. Okay, copy this. And here we set the menu in the main activity. As you can see now, split. Ah, now you see. I wait. When I remove this, now it's gone. 
when I put it back, it's here. <laughs> it's from the bottom navigation view. And yes, that looks good for now, I would say. I mean, if you have any questions, just, just write me something in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, let's just continue with the main activity. So let's just close out all the other tabs. Let's start some coding in here. We need private late in a var. We call this field binding of type colon of type activity main binding. It is because of this here, because this, this has now data binding enabled, as you can see here from this text. And so let's say activity main binding. Nice. Okay, okay. I mean, if you want, for instance, you can say install splash screen, and a splash screen will be shown. Yeah, it comes from Android X Core splash screen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, we can for now get rid of this line. Otherwise, we can start setting up the binding. The binding is equals to activity main binding, not bind, it's inflate. Then we have layout inflator. And we say apply set content view to root. Okay, and that should be it. Now it's really attached, our activity is now really attached to our XML layout file. And then we can start for the navigation graph. Now nav controller is equal to find nav controller we need an id how is it called the id will be let's see uh, let's see let's see let's see if we have an id in here app navigation app navigation okay no not here ah nav host fragment that will be this one Copy this one and say my host fragment. Okay, yeah, it's it's this one here where you see the fragment. This is this tag will hold all of our fragments in the main activity. So next the uh, app bar configuration. So the the icons here at the bottom will be set up. Uh, configuration okay equals to app bar configuration uh, this is a set set off and we need the IDs from here close task open tasks and all tasks okay so let's say ID Let's start with close tasks. Mm -hmm. Here open tasks and here is all tasks. Okay, good. Jayet. Now we set up the action bar, set up Set up action bar, set up action bar with nav controller. You pass the nav controller and here we pass the app bar configuration and binding dot nav view. This is this one here. Mm -hmm. Set up with navigation controller and we pass again the nav controller in here. Uh, ok, 
Okay, this should be good. Now we need to override one more method. This is the on support navigation up. You can remove this line and say well, nav controller. Uh, da, 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 we can just actually we can just copy this in here and then we can just return something return nav controller dot navigate up if he navigates up okay and otherwise Uh, okay, otherwise we say we're calling the super call, uh, the parent call, which is on support navigation up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I would say that's it for this video right now. And uh, this should be good to go. And yes, I would say in the next um, video, we will start to just um, add, yeah, we'll just add some more fragments so we can start working on the navigation graph. And yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe, write me some nice comments or so, and see you in the next one.